What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Susie. Right now I'm walking towards the gym. Haven't worked out in a while. So I'm gonna take it easy peasy. So I'm just gonna take it easy, but I wanna work out a little bit. Haven't been haven't been working out for like weeks already. And I don't it doesn't feel good guys. I love working out, so here we go. This is the small place I'll be work I'll be working in. It's small but it's perfect for right now. And I will just make the best out of it. So I try to always start by stretching out a little bit. Right now, uh, in the state that I am right now, I'm putting an emphasis on stretching as it is good for your body to relax and expand. I am naturally super stiff, so don't expect too much. I mainly focus on my back, my inner thighs. I did a little bit of stretching of my arms also. I just didn't show you guys. So what I start off, I start off by walking on a treadmill, just on a slow pace for life. 30 seconds and then I pick up the pace I will not yeah I will be showing you guys a little bit but not all the way I walk like for 15 minutes and every 30 seconds I just um, pump it up a little bit make it faster as my body adjusts to it so if I feel like it's good for now I just leave it like that and then walk and if I feel like I can do more, I just pump it up. If you're were if you're gonna work out, um, especially I mean like if you're gonna work out, always when you're working out, listen to your body and know when it's enough or when to slow down. I never advise to quit. If you're very tired, just slow it down or rest for like 10, 20 seconds. I mean, you can rest up to one minute. I never advise to rest more than that because then you're, you'll just get tired. Sorry. <laughs> you just get um, very cold and yeah. So just rest for a little bit and continue. I love to take advantage of the treadmill. So I just do some squats on it and it helps me just to stretch my legs and get that strength that I need. In the state that I am right now, yes guys, these pants just keep slipping down. These pants just keep slipping down. They don't care. You'll see me once in a while just resting. I could have cut them out, but I didn't. I just wanted you guys to see, like, um, realistic how I rest sometimes and then continue with the exercise because I think it's needed. And yes, I do it. <laughs> if you feel like you can go on, just go on. And if you feel like you need a rest, take it. Just don't quit because you can do it. I turn around and do the same exercise at the other side. Oh, I never told you guys, but I try to do three sets of seven to 10. Oh, and um, I slow down the treadmill speed onto the lowest, I think it was 0.8. And I always start by holding on with one hand and when I, I'm used to it, that's when I, when I and when I'm used to it, that's when I let go and just go with the flow.
After I'm done with my 15 minutes of workout on the treadmill, I grab the bench and just put it for support because I'm a little I'm feeling a little unbalanced these days. So I use it just in case and I just tap on it, just a little tap, and then I come back up while I'm doing these squats. Uh, I use the dumbbells on the first set and then I just continue without them. It's just that I wanted to show you guys if you want to use a dumbbell, you do. You can do so and if not, it's okay to do it without anything. And also, I was so tired. <laughs> I just decided to not use anything in the two other sets and uh, enable for me to get through the whole workout. After I finish with my squats, I do some lunges, keep that booty nice, <laughs> you know, it's important for me. And then go on the other side, do the same. Also did three sets of this one on each side. I just didn't show you guys because the video was going to be too long, so I didn't. But know that I did three sets on each side. And yes, I was that after after doing them. You can see it on my face. I literally was screaming in there. Then I go back in. To, oh, I rested. I rested. I rested for like 30 seconds. And then I went back in and do these step back lunges. Yes, they felt good. These also work very nice on your body and the strength you need on um, for, for your legs i did also three sets on each side try to balance <laughs> i'm really unbalanced oh my this big belly and i also gained a lot of weight so yes i did not cut off like i told you guys cut out the oopsie bloopsie bloopers whatever you want to call them because i wanted you guys to see the real thing Sometimes when I lose my balance, I just uh, use the bench for so I do these lunges. I just sit on the bench and go down a little bit below my knees and then come back up. These were hard, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can't see my face on this ones. Um, yes, you can see it, but you can see my face the whole, throughout the whole workout because I'm tall. <laughs> I should just buy another tripod, I think. But I'm very tall, um, 5'10", so it's easy for me to get out of the frame. <laughs> finish my workout I go down on the floor and do these pelvic workouts I think this these are very crucial for pregnancy and also they're good for you so for your inner thighs and your back and your booty of course 
through. I enjoy doing them. For the purpose of the video, I changed my hand position and it's like it's for you guys to see um, that there are many other ways to put your hands. You use whatever you want to use to balance if you want to try these workouts. Out. When I finish up with this uh, pelvic workout, I change to another one. <laughs> just open up my legs and do them again. Just three sets of ten. I don't know. If, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but these are very good if you're pregnant, and they are so good if you're not. But it's very good if you're pregnant. Rest again, and then I go on my sides and work it. These ones are very good to build your pelvic floor strength, um, but yes, they're good. To, this these ones are good to build. These ones are good to build your pelvic floor strength. Also, if you are able to do them with your whole body lifted, that's very good. I just did it like this because I was tired, guys. Rest again. <laughs> Try to keep a smile on, girl. You can do it. It's a whole workout for me to just change position. Okay, so that counts as a workout too. In my opinion, it does. Just go to the other side and do the same. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, almost on here. And then I rest. I think I took like I didn't take so much rest with that with these less exercises because I'm like I can see the finish line. I just want to finish. So I did these workouts who are great, which are great for your inner thighs also. And these are good if you're pregnant to just You see me doing it slow, that's because I really want to focus on my I want to focus on my inner thigh and act as if I have weight up on my thighs. done <laughs> now I'm done and I think I will be sick I think I'll be speaking right now okay guys so this was it for my video um, <laughs> I'm tired but I'm feeling very good I think I'll be posting more of my videos on YouTube if you want to but otherwise follow me on Instagram and yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends, and
and subscribe. Thank you very much. I love you guys.